where the answer lies in trying to authenticate this film one way or the other. We've satisfied ourselves uh, that the footage is genuine. You know, it's not, it's not a question of the Hitler diaries or, 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 or a situation like that. All we're doing is we're placing it into the public domain and saying, look, here it is, please investigate us. Yeah. yeah, that's Ray. That's Ray Santilli at the end. He's just putting it out there. He's done his research. Now you do yours. I like that because he's just letting people draw their own conclusions instead of saying what it is, and that that offers a shred of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm lost. He's the, word, the incredible to you, nothing, uh, Santilli. Yeah, like he has nothing. <laughs> he's not trying to prove out. anything. You know, he's being very genuine. There you go. Authentic. Yeah. There's the two words that I was looking for. <laughs> so far, this one comes up. Incredible to me. Fucking incredible. Yeah. On this big time, like 14% of like its time slot rated show at the time. This thing was nominated for an award, for a Saturn Award, this documentary. Mm. Wait, what the hell is a Saturn Award? We're all winners at the end of the day. <laughs> it's, it's it sounds time. awesome, actually. I, uh, a Saturn, Saturn Award? They I'll get take the Saturn, one no, you're getting the Uranus Award, Rob. Right? Oh, you know that. Fuck yeah. Well, fuck you're, up for, yeah. You're, you're nominated for it, so you haven't won yet. Oh, Sorry. We have to have an award oh, show okay. at some point. The, the Fingers Uranus crossed. Awards. Fingers crossed. I think you we should. Want a Uranus. But <laughs> <laughs> it's time now for the big moment, and they're going to play the actual alien abdu- uh, autopsy. Don't want to call it abduction. <laughs> they play the actual alien autopsy movie on television. Now, it's oh, silent. Oh, they should not have done that. It's silent, but the Frakes, he will guide us through it. This could be the world's first look at an actual being from another planet. <gasps> you are watching the autopsy of what some say is an alien from outer space. Though silent, the 17-minute film is as dramatic as any science fiction thriller to come out of Hollywood. But this may not be a filmmaker's fantasy. This could very well be real. The strange body appears intact, except for an ugly wound on the right thigh. Two mysterious doctors wearing contamination suits study its bizarre features. A third person wearing a mask watches from behind the glass partition. Is this indeed a top-secret military autopsy performed on an alien in 1947? (laughs) <laughs> could you imagine this happening again in here now in you know no. with social media and like if this happened on twitter or something like that now a big event like this well all no yes and no because well no for two reasons actually no because uh this has already been done and everybody would just think that it well, would just could... be hidden away. If it was real, they would hide it away. And if it was real and they decided to show it, everybody would be like, well, there's all this deep fake stuff. It's just so easy to to fake it now as opposed to back yeah. then. It would I can't too. help but think about the guy whoever works like for the FBI or for like the X Files department that exists within the government, <laughs> and they're just like they're just like, God damn it! Like, how did this get out? Yeah. What is going on here? Who let this out? Did, like, somebody somewhere is fingers. like shaking their leg. Someone, no, they they probably got just not even fired but beheaded. For yeah, it right. They're, yeah, they're yeah. They never exist. Never going to see them. I told yeah. you. I told you. Looked at that canister of chubby checker videos. I told you. Left it there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before. Yeah. He, how does that happen? Jesus. How do they let this one slip? This seems like an important tape. Like, the, like there shouldn't have well, been too extra late. copies. Well, of it this. sounds it's like they never had it, Rob. They never. They're had out it, there. Rob. They had a chance to get it back, and but now they're going to investigate the video by first going to some of the relatives of the eyewitnesses, and they're going to see if the alien in this video. Is he's getting uh, he's getting cut up, but they're gonna see yeah. if he matches what they saw. And one of them recalls this about the alien contact in Roswell. According to Frankie Rowe, her father discovered three beings still alive at the crash site. He kept saying, "There's no need for us to be afraid. They're not here to hurt us." And he said that he really felt badly that we couldn't help them. The cameraman writes that he photographed three strange beings. Each was crying, clutching a box close to his chest. They cried louder as we approached, he writes. One of the officers managed to pry loose the box by hitting the being with the butt of his rifle. That's just a depressing little Roswell detail they throw in while they're talking about this. Yeah, I I found a recording. I found a recording of what what they sounded like when when the guy was was filming them. You want to hear what it sounds like? Oh, hell yeah, Rob. Bring it. No. Huh? Ah! Theodore, don't. <laughs> yeah, good one. Oh, man, that's so sad, though. <laughs> if they sounded like that, that'd be even worse. I forget they were just roughing these guys up that landed there. You know, aliens or not, whatever they were, they were getting the business. 
But yeah. <laughs> it's time to do some real investigating, not just asking people what their grandpa saw and if it looked like this thing. And they're going to talk about how accurate does this thing actually look. It has a TV special now, after all. What does this thing look like? We've looked closely at some of the objects in the room. Our purpose? To determine whether they even existed in 1947. The wall clock. A General Electric model is indeed from the 1940s. And that black phone with the heavy receiver and the curly cord is a Bell Standard model from 1937. Though they could all be purchased later, their presence in the room is nonetheless consistent with the time period. Okay, so this all adds up. These props, they're period-appropriate props. This video is if not on props. TV. as a, It's just the most fake thing ever. All the props can be dated to the time period. Yeah, everything lines up. It seems seems legit. It's incredible so far. So far. Yeah. Check yeah, it out. It seems pretty incredible. Check it off. We're getting a few checks so far. The props, check it out. But what about the film itself? It's not on, it's like on a Betamax or VHS. There's nothing ridiculous that would mm. give it away. Uh, it's on film. But what's the deal, Frakes? That brings us to the film itself. Can it be dated? We took the film to Larry Kate, who spent 16 years in the manufacturing division of Kodak. Eastman Kodak Company, in trying to distinguish the age of the film, keeps track of the date of manufacture, and this is done through geometric codes. And the symbols on the edge code were a square and a triangle, which were used in Rochester, New York, by Eastman Kodak Company to denote the following years of manufacture, 1927 or 1947 or 1967. All right, Ooh, the film yeah. checks out, too. It has the symbols, 1947, it all adds up. Yeah, this okay. is where it starts to get weird. This is where, like, you start to, like... Wait, is this shit real? Could this possibly be real? Bitch, it might be. Yeah. So the film stock itself could be from 1947. But what about the way it was shot? So the film stock itself could be from 1947. What about the way it was shot? <laughs> the very look of the film reveal about its authenticity. It would make much sense to think that, yes, this film could have been shot in the late 40s, early 50s. Paolo Kerke Uze is senior curator of motion pictures at Eastman House in Rochester, New York. I'm often asked how difficult it is to fake a film. The answer is no. <laughs> you cannot fake a motion picture that easily. <laughs> it would require an amount of technical know-how, of sophistication, that would make the operation not worthwhile. Yes, yeah, Paolo <laughs> Uze believes it, and he's from Eastman House. Is it another yeah. check? Yeah. How difficult is it to fake a film? No. 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 That's, that's, that's no. all you get out of him. No. <laughs> Eastman House, one rule. Film fake, no. So, no. It seems, so far, it seems like everyone agrees that this is the greatest event ever. But maybe not. Not everyone agrees, though, as we'll oh, hear. Geez. Mm. I have to say, I feel that what we've seen here is a hoax. Alan Davio is one of Hollywood's most acclaimed cinematographers. He was the director of photography on E.T., Bugsy, Empire of the Sun, and Congo. Davio is suspicious of the film because of how it regularly goes out of focus as if to hide what may not be real. What we're seeing here is, is a, somebody photographing this intentionally letting the image go out of focus. It just doesn't make sense that he would go in and make no adjustment on the focus. The fact that it lost focus is consistent with uh, the type of equipment that uh, they had to be using. Boom! They okay. shut him down quick, mm, Alan yeah, Davio. Yeah, good, good. E.T., also, Congo, Bugsy, the best films. Yeah, he probably <laughs> yeah, makes them... They're, they're so easy to make entertaining, too. Um, well, also, you can have the best equipment in the world and still be so emotionally affected by what you're actually seeing, you know, and impacted. Like, I can't believe that he wouldn't adjust the focus. It's like he's looking at a fucking alien, you know? Yeah, not to not to even talk about the fact that the dude's wearing a full-on, like, jumpsuit with just this little slit to look through, that he's looking through he, this mask yeah. into a camera to try to see what's going on. So, he's honestly, doing his best, you for those haters hands. out there who think this is fake, I'll stop you right there. Honestly. <laughs> there you go. Tell him, Rob. <laughs> well, look, if you guys are on the side of this being real, hey, you got to love that guy coming and defending the film. And oh, guess yeah. what? You are not going to believe his name. Roderick Ryan knows as much as anyone about what it was like <laughs> filming for the military in the 1940s. <laughs> a combat cameraman for the Navy, he photographed the most secret government projects during the 40s and 50s, including the atomic bomb tests at Bikini Atoll. The cameras uh, in general use at that time by the military were uh, Filmo K2. 
cameras made by Bell and Howell. The camera did not have through the lens focusing. So if it maintained focus, uh, there could be the possibility that it was done with modern day equipment, which you can maintain focus, and uh, that it was simulated rather than real footage from 1947. Yeah, see, Rod Ryan, he thinks it's real. All right, let's hear a soundboard clip. I want to hear a little bit of that. Roderick Ryan knows as much as anyone about what it was like. Yeah, he knows as much as anyone. He sounds like your ancient ancestor from medieval times. Like, <laughs> like you, he's your great, great, great grandfather, Roderick I just feel like Ryan. it's just his actual grandfather, not, not even that far back. I love that his name is Rod. Yeah. His name is Rod Exactly, Ryan. it's perfect. Great. It, this what is what Russ hell? aspires to be. Someone stole he's great. his identity. It, he looks like the old man Captain America, like I don't believe I will kind of guy too. He looks <laughs> just like that. He's great. He goes, there's but, rods on your tape. Yeah, it's Rod Ryan's. <laughs> <laughs> but these experts, they seem split on believing it or not. But even the doubters, they're given props to this alien autopsy video for its production value. I will say that there's some terrific work done here, but I do not believe that this is a real event that I'm seeing. Every Come fake on. I've seen, the impression of fake comes up immediately. Let's put ourselves in the position of someone who decides to make a fake. Why in the world someone would invest such an amount of money, of effort, of mise en scène to put together a 23 minutes film of this kind? <laughs> defies reason it doesn't make sense <laughs> the, the, it the existence of this makes absolutely so little sense that it makes it real it, it no one would yeah. <laughs> ever do this why who would want to fake a cutting up an alien i think that the video is fake no yeah that's just the haters <laughs> yeah and you know we could just stop them right there because yeah I, I hate that line of reasoning too where he's like every um fake one that i've seen has a certain quality to it that makes me think it's fake it's like, well, then how many real ones have you seen? There's That's good a good question. question. That's a great question. Like, how do yeah, you know? Uh, who knows with this guy? This guy is in <laughs> love with this thing. He's like, it's just, I can't believe that the fact that even it exists, it exists, it has to be real. But beyond, <laughs> now the special's got to reel it in from this. And going beyond analyzing just the props and the film and the production value, well, what about that dead alien itself? Camera tricks are one thing. But how do you fake the flesh and blood body of an alien? Especially one that's about to be cut open. No. Is this really an autopsy of an alien being? Or could it be something else? A dummy? A deformed human? <laughs> an incredible hoax. To find out, we showed the film to two of the world's leading pathologists. And I have to issue a warning at this point. What you are about to see is extremely graphic. Oh, I hate, oh, God. I hate me hear that. This is when yeah. it get, does get really <laughs> gross. Uh, they start yeah, cutting it off. It's pretty bad. It, it bleeds very realistically. And I'm squirmish. I hate surgery shows. All, like Grey's Anatomy and all those things. I can't watch it. And I, I, this was only for research purposes. How could I sit through this? I am squeamish Man. when it comes to this. And, yeah, and it looks really real. It looks very real yeah, like, it when does. they start cutting it. Like, I'm well, not we don't know that, that it's squeamish, not. but it's still like... Yeah, we don't know. Because, Rob, it's yeah, 1995, we, sure, Rob. Uh, you, were, you didn't know shit. You think this is the realest I thing you've ever seen. I still don't know shit. <laughs> well here's the thing we don't too. know <laughs> it, yeah it you know we were seeing it in 95 but it was supposed to be in the 70s right they said 47 or something like that oh, 1947 um, it happened this, but yeah just yeah it, yeah, yeah when it was our, our 90s. supposedly we're watching this before allegedly. arsenio and the right, simpsons right. and stuff i'm just saying like, like if it were made cops, a, yeah no i i understand when America's we saw it <laughs> <laughs> right what my point is is that this probably came on time right it was after being made. married with children oh my god and maybe they had a special <laughs> simpsons before it <laughs> you assholes <laughs> so yeah for the time it was allegedly made in the 40s um they would have to have some really freaking advanced skills at making a dummy that would bleed like that we can make that shit now in Hollywood or maybe in the 90s. But even then, you know, you're watching Jurassic Park and that's still, I mean, it looks pretty realistic. But how are you going to fake an alien looking that realistic yeah. We've in seen 1947? Frank, we've seen Frankenstein, all those universal monsters. And we they're beloved, but most, everything looks like shit in those things. There's no way they were making <laughs> bleeding aliens. There's no way. Yeah. They were still, still plan nine level and a lot of stuff during that, that yeah. time. And if they knew how to do that, wouldn't they be doing that? Wouldn't they be making big bucks? making money in yeah like, they wouldn't be movies, waiting actual movies wouldn't be waiting 50 yeah. years for to give it to some asshole who's looking for his chubby checker 
But they're going to bring on two <laughs> pathologists now with many experience in autopsies. Chris Milroy, it's his real name, Milroy, Milroy, and 